Hello and welcome to this video about the top five things I think you should know about the very unique Sandal South Coast in Jamaica. For those of you joining the channel for the first time, welcome. I'm Addison from Reliant Destinations and MyCaribbeanLuxury.com. It's so great to have you here on my channel, Mr. Travelux. The goal of this channel is to provide you with informative content about Sandals and Beaches Resort so you can make informed choices. As YouTube's leading expert on this brand, I want to make sure that you have the right resources at your fingertips. So with that said, make sure you do have a look in the description below where you will find so much information. Things like an interactive digital brochure about Sandals South Coast, ways to hold rooms for free, how to compare rooms in resorts, where to find the best deal, and so much more. So definitely make sure to have a look. Finally, my contact details are also in that description. So if you'd like to get in touch and ask any questions, or if you booked in the last 14 days and want to hear what I can do for you, make sure to drop me a message. And now it's time to dive right into the top five things you should know about Sandals South Coast. Number one, Sandal South Coast is an all beachfront resort that's set along a beautiful two mile beach. Now the question to ask here is what makes this unique? See, if you look at different Sandals and Beaches properties, or even if you look at other brands across the Caribbean, one thing you will notice is that beachfront or oceanfront rooms are typically going to be the premier both in cost and also the nicest rooms and suites in any given resort. You may or may not be aware that at Sandals, there are three tiers of luxury. You have the entry luxury rooms, then you have the middle tier club Sandals rooms and suites, and then the top pinnacle which is the butler elite what this means is that you can stay in any of those three tiers at sandal south coast and still have what would be considered to be a beach front room. Yes, that means that no matter where you stay on the property, you are literally within seconds of the beach. Number two, let's talk about the villages and the rooms there at Sandal South Coast. First, let's point out that there are three main villages in the resort. There's the Italian village, the French village, and then my personal favorite, the Dutch village. The Italian and French villages are going to have a european traditional luxury style that has that Mediterranean flair to it. If you're after some rooms or suites that have that truly modern, refurbished, refreshed look to it, a state of the art, you definitely want to have a look in the newly refurbished Dutch village. If you have been to Europe before, you are likely to be aware that the Netherlands is considered one of the more modern countries there in Europe. Similarly, this Dutch village will feature the most modern suite in the resort. I actually had the privilege of staying in a butler suite in this village, this Dutch village, just recently. Have a little quick look here around. It's a really awesome room very modern and has some top amenities and it's really really special especially if you are there for a special occasion it is also worth mentioning that at sandals south coast this is one of only three sandals resorts that do feature that state-of-the-art over the water bungalow this one here at sandals south coast is in the shape of a heart and is set along a walkout pier I will quickly say for full transparency though that these can sell out up to years in advance. So if there's something you're interested in whatsoever, definitely let me know and I can show you the availability schedule and see if we can fit something in for you. Number three is a little bit of a funny one, but it's definitely something I think you should know, and it is bring water shoes. Here's the deal. At Sandal South Coast, the beach and the water, it is beautiful. However, it does have some seasonal variations to it. The sand there is very comfortable, but it is soft sand. And if you happen to be there on a day where there's a, a large wind or perhaps a small storm that comes through, it can churn up the water a little bit, in which case it's a really good idea to have water shoes. Speaking from a guy who once stepped on a sea urchin, so just something to keep in mind, nothing to fear, but it's always a good idea for your comfort and also for your safety just to have water shoes really at any resort. But I do recommend it at Sandal South Coach just based off the nature of how the sand is. Water shoes can be really cheap and comfortable. And in fact, I've actually linked below some of my favorite options. So you can have a look there. Number four, let's quickly chat about some of the dining and bar highlights. First, I have to give a big shout out to Latitudes Over the Water Bar. Now there are some other resorts that feature a almost identical bar to this one, like Sandals Vertigo Bay, and this is a really special experience. If you're like my wife and I, this is a great place to actually go 
first thing in the morning for a beautiful Caribbean sunrise or in the evening if you want to catch that amazing sunset. There are hammocks that surround this almost 360 degrees and it is a really, really unique bar setup. If you are a coffee or a pastry lover, definitely make sure to stop by Cafe de Paris or as it's spelled Cafe de Paris, but that's not how it is pronounced. And this is indeed a wonderful, wonderful French patisserie. Whether you're after some croissants or some crepes or whatever it is, or gourmet coffees, this is definitely the place to go. If you prefer a frozen coffee drink on a hot island. They make amazing frappuccinos and anybody that knows me knows that is my go-to drink when I'm at Sandals. Speaking of which, when you see me walking around a Sandals resort, maybe with that frappuccino hand, definitely come and say hi. I've met hundreds of you from the channel and it's always awesome to have a chat. When it comes to dinner, just a quick mention of my top two favorite dining options. Jasmine's is a fine dining oriental restaurant. Here you can find exquisite dishes that are comfortable to if you went to a very state of the art oriental dining experience in a big city near you. Right next to it is my second favorite, which is Eleanor's. Now, Eleanor's is actually fine dining Caribbean cuisines, give you some local flares. I have to say that they do a mean steak. So if you are a foodie and a carnivore like I am, definitely make sure to give Eleanor's a try. The ambience in there is very romantic and there's a lot of space in there. I think that's great for a special date night while you're in the resort. And one of the features in there is actually a nice water wheel that goes around and it's a really, really cool place. Definitely check that out. Number five is a personal opinion having been to all the Sandals and Beaches resorts. And this is that I think that this resort here at Sandals South Coast does have one of the best entertainment teams. First, there is a jumbo indoor cabaret that has multiple performances throughout the week different shows in there that are really astounding. However, I find the outdoor entertainment even better, and this is things like circuses and beach parties. There's so much happening every night of the week. Now, if you have an existing reservation and you have the Sandals app, when you get close to your stay on that app, you can actually find the live entertainment schedule to look through and find times. Now, here's a top tip. Something that a lot of people do by accident is accidentally schedule their dinner reservation right at the same time or nearby as their favorite show. So you're either having a rush dinner or you're missing the entertainment altogether. So my recommendation is before you go, make sure to have a look in that little entertainment schedule, see what things really stick out to you and then try to plan your dinner reservations around that so you can have both. Awesome, so there we are folks, the top five things I think you should know about Sandal South Coast. And of course, a quick reminder to definitely look in that description below where you will find so much information. Any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section below or again, my contact details are in that description where you can get in touch with any personal questions. I would love to be of assistance in the future and definitely make sure to like this video and subscribe for more awesome content. Thanks for coming by the channel, we'll see you next time.